Welcome to Cast of Creators. We're your hosts. I'm Nelson Thal. And I'm Casey Stewart. We spent our careers in media and publishing, and now we're setting the stage for creative people who inspire us to share their stories. Our guest this episode is Jules Mercanti. Jules is an extremely talented artist who paints some of the most magical scenes, and her performance art is on a whole other level. You do not want to miss this. We talk about her transition from a model to a full-time artist, her first art show, painting with sex toys, and a whole lot more. Let's get into it. Creators need to be able to talk to each other. Yeah. It's such an important thing. And so even listening to each other is so important. And uh, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. totally down for spaces made for us. Well, and amazing. We well, it. Jules, welcome. Oh, thank you. I feel okay. so welcome. <laughs> It's incredible to have you here because out of all the people, you were the only one with art, with who's an artist of art on our here. wall. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we love your work. Wow. I think that you Thank create you. worlds, you know, beyond any other wow. be- magical worlds. Yeah. Oh my God. And I'm going to open my print that yeah, I ordered. Yeah, so Casey just ordered a print. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to send this through the mail. I'm going to see her. we had, I was like, I can't wait to meet you IRL. And then, <laughs> and then I met you. that gallery last week and I was like, Jules? And she's like, ah! Yeah, that Can I just totally say, I mean, that is screamed. like the most classic Jules thing to have happened. Like, it happens all the time where I'm like, oh, I'm so excited oh, to see this person. I love it. And, I love yay! It. That's it. Oh, very That's nice. like a top seller. Boom. I love it. It's going to fit. My room is very pink and yellow. I'm so Perfect. It's my life. And it's going to fit. Let's see it. Uh, Casey, show it while you're talking. This oh, way. right. Uh, this way. Yeah. <laughs> yay! I'm Beautiful. excited! Yay! I got my own. I got to order more now. <laughs> Great. So well, which uh, print is, what's the name of that print? Uh, I think it's mm, mm. Lemonada or Lemon, yeah. the lemon, lemon lemon tree. The lemon, yeah. lemon one. Beautiful. The lemon yes, one. Yes, and it says, Casey, thank you so much for your support. Love, Jules. It's true. Keep this note private. Love, yeah. Jules. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you I what like, else oh it God. says. <laughs> I hope I didn't write something. Casey, don't read this on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Ooh, but away for later <laughs> <laughs> my love notes <laughs> yeah great. thank you yeah. yeah it feels pretty surreal uh, i started like print my print shop maybe like two years ago three years ago cool i can't even remember now probably three years ago it was pre-pandemic yeah uh pre-pandemic. and then now it's like i'm going every two day like every two days i have to go back to the print shop i'm like holy shit i cannot wow. keep, i know it's nuts i keep thinking it's gonna die down and it does that's not, amazing so. that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah i mean it's pretty great uh I nor can't, do no i complaints. expect it to no i, I know i guess yeah i you always as an artist are like okay this is it like this is the last time and so yeah. then it's like oh no okay this is like well the, the one thing i noticed with our print i'm sure it's the same mm-hmm. here is the quality of oh, the print yes. is fantastic oh yes darling and you're very nice i'm a i'm a psycho for uh, it looks like it's a the, painting honestly some of the prints turn out better than the originals just in terms <laughs> of like i don't know i got my fingerprint on the original i got something on there and the yeah. prints are just so fabulous i have to shout out ernesto he works at qsq here he's been doing all my prints since the dawn of time and it was because of the quality that I was wow. like, obsessed with. So it's not printed with like a traditional <laughs> printer. No, it's Z-clay printing. I mean, so it is. It kind of looks traditional. I actually don't know. It's a crazy machine. Yeah. Uh, but so it uses use- ink in like a splatter way. So okay. that it's very, uh, I, I, honestly, I'm talking like out of things. my ass. I actually don't know. But <laughs> I, it's just like it's the closest thing to the original that we have technology-wise. Yeah, yeah so like, absolutely. Z-clays are, yeah, they're done That's for awesome. archival. So you give him your painting. I give him my large paintings and he scans them for me. So the one you have here in the studio was like a big painting. Yeah. Uh, how, how much bigger is that? Like oh, four times the size? Yeah, may, I would say, yeah, maybe th- twice, three times. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a mathematician. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> No, I think, yeah, they're twice, twice the size, maybe. Okay. And then uh, I don't have a scanner big enough, but he does. No. So yeah. he scans the big stuff. But, like, the little stuff here, like, I scan at home. And I just send him the master file, and he yeah, works his magic. Works yeah. his magic. I yeah. love it. And <laughs> when did you start painting? Uh, like... I don't know. I'm sure in the womb I was doing it. Yeah, you're like... Probably was on my mom's stomach or something. I don't know. I just always loved... I I feel like um, the school system kind of failed me in a sense. It was the only thing I was ever drawn to. And so it was like arts and crafts was all I ever wanted to do since the... Yeah, since the dawn of time. It was the only thing I kind of uh, could express myself with or understood. So... Where'd you grow up? Yeah, wow. and Hamilton. Hamilton. I know. I don't tell great. anybody this. It's okay. Why? Hamilton. I grew up not somewhere yeah, small, too. <laughs> it's okay. I, um, 
It's okay. I am very happy that I grew up there. I had a wonderful childhood, but yeah. I have no plans on returning. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it did it served its purpose and now I'm on to on to new worlds. So, yeah. at no point in elementary or high school were you basically in an arts program. Oh, I was totally. We didn't even have an art club at my high school like I made it. I yeah, just you, made one up. Like you I did? Yeah, I was oh the only God. one in the art club. I was editor of the yearbook, I think, two, two years in a row. Wow. I just did whatever was creatively yeah. available to me. It was like, okay, give me this. I, I can do this. I understand this. Um, elementary school as well. It wasn't that many. It was always like sports or, yeah. <clears throat> you know, anything else. But art was always like a thing I had to search for. I had to really. And then coming to Toronto, I went to OCAD. And then now you're like in a sea of people who like started the art club in their hometown. So it was kind of like, it was a weird experience. Um, I didn't actually go to OCAD for drawing and painting. I went for criticism and curatorial, which is so crazy because it's not at all. Yeah. Right now, like, it could be like criticism. the farthest. Criticism. Look out. <laughs> Woo. I can, uh, <laughs> I can tell you why my art is bad. <laughs> or other people's. Or what, other people. Oh, yeah. What a great course to teach yeah. people, teach yeah. kids how to critique things in an yeah. you know, yeah. elaborate yeah. way. Then you get a bunch of people coming out <laughs> critiquing everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it Trolls taught me a lot. Lot about art history, yeah. It taught me, yeah. yeah it taught me how to troll, yeah, pretty exactly. much. How to shit post. Yeah. No, I, uh, it taught me a lot. It, uh, and then I didn't start actually seriously art making until yeah. like after. But I mean, yeah. I've always been art making, so it's hard to say like when. When is the actual day? I don't know. I have no idea. And then you ended up meeting Talia, my wife Talia. Yes. At what point? I was modeling when I met Talia. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I was on one oh, of her yeah, first on, shoots. On, on a shoot. Mm-hmm. One of her first shoots as she was working here. Uh, I had to, or had to. I was modeling uh, during university to pay for university. Yeah. Uh, obviously was not serious about it because I'm still not doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, modeling was weird. That was a weird time of my life, but it got me to where I am now. Yeah, so fantastic. Can't, and that's where I met Talia and yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> and now I'm here with you. It's <laughs> nuts. And did you, um, were you like modeling and then you started doing art and then you switched to art full time yeah yeah I, it was kind of frustrating uh because you're working around creatives as a model i mean okay you can make the argument models are creative yeah okay yeah. Uh, no one wants to listen to you when you're the model especially yeah. the time this is this is pre-instagram this is pre like all yeah, of this yeah. phone shit so um you know, being on set, I'd be like, oh, it'd be so cool if the lighting was like this or if the makeup was like this. <laughs> right. And everyone's like, uh, like shut no, the fuck my, up. Like, you're exactly. just the model. And I was like, oh, it was kind of like hard for me to just sit there and like be the model. Like, you know, and like it was cool. Like, you know, I can rock anything, any type of clothing, any type of whatever, whatever you give me, I can do this. But then, you know, that gets boring really quick. And yeah. I realized really quick that. It wasn't the industry I was meant for. I, I'm much more creative than yeah. I. Not to say that models aren't creative. I'm sure they no, no, are. No, no. I just so not in the way, not in the way that I wanted to be. I was yeah. very. I felt very uh, stifled. Yeah, you can't have every model on set just start critiquing. Yeah. Oh, I was like, <laughs> you were critiquing. Closet. I was yeah, totally critiquing. critiquing. I was like, this is no. This is yes. This is no. I don't want to wear that. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I want yeah. that. So uh, yeah, I felt my creative. Uh, it was stifled. spirit dying. Yeah, yeah, and I had to get out. I had to get out. And then what, like, being, um, switching to kind of, like, being a creator full-time, what's that like? It's crazy. Actually, it probably wouldn't have happened if the pandemic didn't happen, and I hate saying that. Yeah, but it's true. Like, uh... I then I worked in restaurants like yeah. for a long time. Well, that's where we met. Yeah, that's okay. exactly. Met, oh my planta. god, that's so true. Yes, yeah. Planta. I um I was like bartending, waitressing. I was doing all of it, and I got, yeah, Nell already a needs up. a top up. I I'll love it. Woo! <laughs> First these, podcast energy. These, yeah, these podcasts are filmed at nine p.m. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is nine p.m. Yeah, okay, I can. We uh, purposely don't have sure. outdoor windows mm-hmm. in the podcast, so we, no one knows what time it is. I love it. Time is nothing but a construct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I have one sip and I'm oh my god. Wow. Well, wasn't well I forget we the question. <laughs> no, no, no wrong. This is, this is cool. It's not the spell. We're <laughs> oh my god. It's the pour. <laughs> well, I, at a restaurant, we would never pour that much. Uh, no. no, I'm just kidding. I don't work in restaurants anymore. No, 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 that's okay. Sure. No, no, please. Oh, yes, I yeah. would love some. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have worked in restaurants. What were you saying? No, 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 that's okay. Too. <laughs> no, like, uh, like it's okay that you don't remember working oh, okay. in restaurants. I also black it out. I also black it out. <laughs> 
I loved working in restaurants, though. I really did love it. I love chefs. I love the restaurant people are like nothing else. I've oh, never I'm met sure. like it's pretty it's pretty wild. I learned a lot in those years, so I do not regret it. I, I did love those years. I, I used it as a crutch, though, which I think was a problem. You know, like I was only working at Planta maybe once every week, but I held on to it like I need it for rent or I yeah. need it for this. Well, or like yeah. I just want to guarantee, you know, that I've got this set up. And absolutely. But it's so crazy. The minute the pandemic happened, you know, restaurants were like the first thing to go. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I don't have it anymore. Now what? And then it was almost the opposite happening of like, oh, now I have like too much work art wise. It was like the minute I opened up, it opened up to me as well. And I was my own. I know. And I, it's so crazy. Like I've heard this. I've heard other people say this. It's easier to hear it. Totally. And like, like live it. And then now that I'm in it, I'm like, oh my God, I could have quit planted like 10 years ago. And I (laughs) wonder where my art guru would be now. I just, it's a really a self-confidence thing, I think. And the minute I was like, no, I'm doing it full time. Then it presented itself full time to me, like intensely. And so yeah, yeah, it was, I don't know. I'm, but then, you know, I also had already, I had things set up for myself. You know, I already had a studio space. I yeah. already had a pretty uh, intense, like, schedule. Like, I would sit in the studio from 9 to 5 regardless. So yeah. I was already pretty set up for it. I don't know if, like, I don't know if I would tell someone random, like, just quit tomorrow and start your thing. Because right. it's, like, it is, you yeah, know, it's a risk. You kind of had, it. like, a routine. Like, do you still, <laughs> totally. do you work, like, do your art like a job job? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. What just, happens if you don't? I don't know. I get weird. <laughs> I get really weird. <laughs> I don't like to see her. I don't like to hang out with her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have to. I have to stick to it. Um, and then, do you find that most of your work mm-hmm. is inspired by life? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god! Actually, only recently, I'm like, okay, I can't just, I can't just be in the studio. Like, I have to input output. I have to be inputting as much as I'm. Yeah, absolutely. producing, you know, yeah. so um, a lot of my paintings are inspired by shit that happened to me while I was not painting. So yeah. I have to be doing that. Uh, observing. I think as an illustrator, a lot of my stuff is dealing with the zeitgeist. So like, you know, the spirit of time, um, the trends, what's going on now? What's what I'm, what can I observe with my eyes right now today? Yeah. Um, you know, where can I pull from reference wise? And so I, I love that. And that's just, I can just go for a walk to get that. Yeah. So that's really totally. fun. So we've got a couple of your paintings. Oh God. That um, I'd love to know. Okay. I'll um, try my best. <laughs> Where there's where the uh, inspirations coming from? Okay. Oh, this one's easy. This oh, one is exactly. Saturday oh, service uh, is easy. Yeah. yeah. What about this, this one? So I did this right uh, during the pandemic, and I did it because all my some of my favorite restaurants were dying and like leaving or closing down, or you know, hearing old managers that I used to respect so much like struggling online. Like, holy yeah. shit, guys! Like, I don't think we're gonna make it out of here. Uh, and so I kind of had this idea to make all these like angels and statues like a restaurant in the sky if you will of like yeah the as an ode to my my hospitality years and i love going out to eat i love restaurants yeah. i love I the whole experience restaurant i often. love well, it not in person but i, I just see love it via Instagram. the the art of going out to eat and like the whole theater of it i'm like obsessed with i always have been i love watching like i don't know like i love anthony bourdain and what he does and he adds poetry to the whole experience and i i don't know i've just i've always been appreciative of it and um yeah i I, for for a moment there i thought okay well restaurants are done like that's it they're dead and so this was the piece that inspired that have you seen any of the uh, chef's table? Oh, I so, love chef's table. Do, have you watched oh. the one with Francis Malman? Yes. In our, yeah, I love that one. Oh, it's so good. And uh, just, but the art of it, you know, they combine everything. It's, yeah, it's taste, but it's also a feast for your eyes. And it's just like so beautiful. I'm, the entire experience, I'm, I'm a huge fan of going out to eat. Yeah, I yeah. love yeah. it too. Sitting uh, around a table and just, you know, chatting with people, having yeah, conversations. Totally. And food. myself, I love going to restaurants alone. I yeah. love just like hearing what the bartenders are talking about. I just, I don't know, the entire atmosphere is like something I feel very comfortable in. And Yeah. yeah. That's a very artistic <clears throat> cri- critic, critic <laughs> thing to do. 
<laughs> we like to go you there and there sit and judge. And I do and actually. It's so crazy. When I was in Mexico City, I was there with I was there by myself, and I was I was doing that often. And I was sitting at the at a table by myself, and I was drawing. And yeah. this couple approached me, and they were like, "Are you a critic? Like, are you a food critic?" And I was like, "No, I'm an artist." And I ended up selling two paintings that night. It was so crazy. And I was like, "I don't know if this would have happened if I was yeah. just wow. here like everyone else." Yeah, you know? I was obviously stuck out as someone who didn't belong. Or, yeah, know, or but, maybe which is really cool to belong with you. <laughs> yeah, because there you go. They they saw something unique, you know? There you go. Do you start by sketching? Like, will you ever mm-hmm. sit somewhere and sketch? Oh, yeah. Big time. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times, like, mm, or I'll just take photos with my phone as well. I think that that's just the easiest way. Um, I'm, I bought an iPad, like, four years ago now, maybe five years, and it's completely changed my life. Yeah, in like terms iPad of, Pro? Yeah. With the pencil, yeah. <clears throat> with the pencil, just because uh, I was, especially for commission work, you know, you do these sketches for people, and they're like, oh, we love it. Can you just change the window? Or, like, can you just mm-hmm. change this? Or, like, can you make my nose smaller? And it's like, oh, fuck, and I have to completely draw this whole thing again because right. I don't like one little part. So it was amazing with the iPad. It's just like, bloop, done. Yeah. Bang, done. Oh, You're done. Yeah. Different nose. What do you want now? Like, yeah. whatever you yeah. want. <laughs> I could change everything Full plastic surgery. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So that completely changed again. Waste, you know, like I'm not wasting as much paper now yeah. than I used to. And then uh, I love sketching, but there is like, it's problematic in a sense of like, I'll, I'll do a bunch of sketches and then I, I lose them. I don't know where they go. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Where are they? And then I'll see them years later like, oh, what a good idea, but it doesn't make sense now. Or, yeah. you know, so the iPad is so um, immediate. It's yeah, now. It's and, and the Mean Girls <laughs> painting that yeah. we have. Yes. Um, where did that <laughs> idea come from? <laughs> because this one's that is a real. A true classic. This is this yeah, one's true harder classic. to. This you know. one's a real, you know, a tapestry of a bit of. <laughs> debauchery and uh, totally, you know totally. these ones the rooms are quite personal like a lot of it is just a time in my life like when I look at this I'm like oh yeah I know exactly what I was thinking what I was doing how I was feeling I love the deer yeah the does yeah they love them um a lot of these fantastical rooms I guess are just places I wish I was I wish I yeah, was here nice. this is you know I think a lot of the luxuriousness of what I try to pull from are I'll never, I mean, I don't like to say never, but like, I don't, I'm not going to own a room like that. Like You might. As, one day I might, but I mean, it's just so much fun to think about, you know, it's like Absolutely. making a Pinterest board of like my vacation, my dream vacation. It's like the same thing when I'm making these rooms. Like, yeah. this is what I, I don't know. I, I would love, I mean, yeah, just especially more, with the more, market. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to have <laughs> yeah, more. more molding. <laughs> yeah. To oh. Molding on top of molding. molding on- <laughs> I want the original yeah. painting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want exactly. all of it. I want the freaking oh, vista. Wow, this I want room. the mountain. <laughs> you know this what this room's room got means? a lot of molding. <laughs> I want. Yeah, it's just a next time you fantasy. come back, molding. Yeah, th- yeah, please. You guys need some Wayne Scotting in here for yeah. sure. Well, for Ariel's room, when I when we started putting up the decals on my daughter's nursery. Um, we looked at like the press on molding. You know, oh just yeah, uh, you know what? I love that too. Mm-hmm. I love it all. Yeah, I see people doing that on TikTok. I love all the, the time. facade of it. I love the fa- you know, mm-hmm. it's just whatever's gonna get you there. You know, yeah. I don't care how delusional you need to be. Just get there. It Can be and like so- a temporary until you <clears throat> actually maybe get the permanent. You know, like yeah. visualize it first, totally. and then you you're halfway there. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. and crown molding gets dusty. You have to clean it. Oh yeah, maybe with the decal, you don't gonna do that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, like there's a lot of dust. I'm <laughs> dusting. <laughs> can't get out of dusting. <laughs> it's like you know, death taxes and Clearly, dusting. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm like Doo-doo. no. Yeah, uh, I like oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's where Mean Girls comes from. <laughs> but what's the Mean Girls part? Like, did you start with Mean Girls, or did you start with the no, room? No, that came last. That came last. Yeah, you're like, like what would be on the TV? Like- it's like, oh, you know what? If it was my room, Mean Girls would be on oh, the TV. So the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would I, be on. I think of it There's as like a, like a Mean Girls. Painting. Oh, oh, I love that. I mean, I did name it that, so that makes sense that yeah. it would be called that. At sure. first, when I had looked at it, I was like, Mean Girls. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're <laughs> holding her up. Regina George and yeah, Oliver Glory. Yeah. 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 Now, the pretty well the day after or two days after we actually booked this podcast, mm-hmm. you two ran into each other randomly. Yeah. Yes. A very Jules yeah. thing to yes. have happened. Yeah. That, and it where? was also, I had... I was coming home from somewhere. I had some wine. I went to my boyfriend. I was like, there's a gallery thing going on. We need to go. Let's walk over there now. And Sean's like on the couch relaxing. And I was like, 
Because I knew that and I knew the stuff and I'm like, who knows? I might have even had an invite. I just have been like not going to things because I've been like working on well it also seems stuff. like social life just kind of exploded overnight yeah, like, like me too i'm like oh i have I like, like plans oh, up the ass i like, have like stuff uh, to yeah. do it's, it's a lot i'm not used yeah. to it yet right and totally like, okay let's go so we go we like we walk around but it was like clearly it was like over and then i was out was there over. Was and then over. you were like all i heard is burr, burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know you oh, were yeah. talking you and then i was like jules and then you're like ah! <laughs> I knew right away. I was like, oh, shit. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. That happens to me so often. Yeah. It's nuts. My, my One of my favorite stories is I was... Uh, I don't know if I should tell the story. Tell it. Okay. Yeah, go for it. I, I, okay. I'm like 30. <laughs> I'm like 30 and I've never owned a dildo. And I'm like, okay, you know what? This is enough is enough. I should know. I should have a sex toy. This is like yeah. crazy. I, this is like... It's been t- long enough. 2022. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah. So I was like, Ugh, I'm just like so scared that I'm going to go and like look like an idiot and like not know what I'm talking about because yeah. I don't. Yeah. You're like... Uh, <laughs> like whatever. I'm going to wear my mask. I'm going to wear a hood. I'm just going to go there. I found this like really amazing local sex shop on Harvard. I'm like, oh, I'm going to yes. go there. Um, good, good for, for her. her. I'm I'm going to go there. It's going to be amazing. So I walk in and fucking lo and behold, this girl comes up to me and starts whispering and she goes, okay, I have to ask, are you Jules? And I was like, no. Oh my God. Like she knew me. She knew my art. She knew everything about me. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, of course, of course, like the one spot I'm like hoping, please, nobody recognize me. Someone fucking recognizes me. So, and we're like really good friends now. Like she introduced me to all this whole other world I had no idea about. And yeah. I mean, she no longer works there, but yeah. it's okay. That's another story. So then you replied, I'm actually buying these to paint, to paint <laughs> yeah. with. And then that and happened. Then that happened. Then, well, so, no. Uh, so and that's then a- you bought an entire bag of dicks <laughs> yeah. and then you did a painting. So what happened was actually, when you're in the store, I actually don't know. Like, I'm looking at the dicks and I'm like, yeah, that one looks fine. That looks yeah, like sure. a great dick. Whatever. <laughs> and then I get home and I'm like, what the fuck was I? I think this thing is like huge. <laughs> like, there's no way. And then, of course, you can't like take back a dildo. No. No. So I'm like, what am I going to do with this thing? Like, and then I was like, oh, maybe I can paint with it. And then that whole thing started. So. Uh, yeah, that's wow. and you got this. Did it start with buying yeah. too big? Uh, I bought <laughs> too big of a dildo. I got oh, home and I was wow. like, I can't use this thing. Like, what the fuck was I think? You know, when you're in the store, you're like, that sure. looks great. Yeah, like, yeah. you can't that's like. There's nice not like dick. a change room. You can't try it out. <laughs> no. So uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's actually what happened. And then uh, yeah, brought it home and I was like, told my husband like, fuck, like, what do we do? And yeah, then I was like, okay, maybe I can pay with this thing. And then got into. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, the painting reels window. that you do, the painting wow. reels that you do are an awesome. Thank you. I'm exhausted by reels, so I feel like if I do one every two months that's like really <laughs> intense, I'm like, okay, yeah. I did it. But Oh, yeah. Come fantastic. like getting into the mode of like constantly having to make a reel, like I really I don't know how creatives do it. I'm like yeah. I'm so exhausted. It's so much work. Yeah, but your reels are pretty highly produced reels. That's a heck of for a For sure, reel. but that's a lot of time, you oh, know? Yeah. It's like it's I have to schedule a day. a day. I have yeah. to ask my husband like, well, he's a um, works in like video uh, oh. producing and stuff. Well, that's so good. Oh. I have to ask him well in advance so like, can you help me? Like, huh? yeah. You know, like yeah. it's like a huge he like wants a shot list. I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, just yeah. shoot me the egg. take this thing. <laughs> yeah. Shoot it for me. Uh, and then like the oh. I'm huge on concept. Like I don't like just doing them to do them. I like them to there to be a narrative and yeah there to be a story well that's an easy reel to shoot for your husband that's the easiest job <laughs> uh, no, mean, it's actually, him. It's, i wish he was here he'd be it's shaking actually his head really, really? Cause my um <laughs> my boyfriend like a pretty good job to me yeah but my boyfriend also works in film <laughs> video entertainment stuff and yeah, you're not doing reels like her no though. but still even when <laughs> i'm not swinging dicks around okay well not just that one yeah that's fired Shots no fired. but i mean even when like because i've been a content creator and stuff and like and i want to shoot something and i've asked sean to like help me with something mm-hmm. and then i'm oh. like he's like well what do you want to shoot i'm like i don't know it, like needs to look like this and he's like that's like and then i'm like you're not doing it right i look ugly (laughs) yeah it's hard and like i freak out and like and i remember one time i was like do you even work in film what is this oh my god yeah no my husband would kill me a psycho i turned into like a a completely psychotic person when i asked him to help me shoot content so i'd rather little ask someone else (laughs) yeah it's a lot like you go amber heard on (laughs) (laughs) jesus christ it's not like that Take that back. I love it. No, no. not like that. No. Okay. 
No. no, but I mean, yeah, no, it's hard. It's, like, it's really hard working. With it's your hard partner. to concept like a. Yeah. I don't want to just do them to do them. Like, here's me yeah. painting. It's like no, I you think want to make can, it uh, something unique. a little bit more unique and original. So I'm oh, like absolutely. to come up with like a concept is a little bit like okay, it takes me some time. It takes yeah. a lot out of me. And do it's you like, put okay. them on TikTok too. Um, TikTok is interesting. I'm, yes, but they're very intense about like all the things that I want to do. So right. like, I don't know if the dick one, I'm already on thin ice with TikTok. So I try not to like, but what about the other couple? Yeah. Yeah. The other ones they I must have, have done pretty well. Yeah. They did. Okay. Yeah. I had a few things explode on TikTok, but I yeah, think what I TikTok bet. wants for me are things that I just am not interested in. So it yeah. gets a little bit mundane. Like I, yeah. I get too exhausted. Like I can't, well, they're not G rated. Uh, they, no, I, nothing I do is. So it's really yeah. hard to find a space that feels like it's meant for me in terms of like, yeah, if you tell me I can't swear or if I can't do some things, it's not because I'm crass. Just No, it's just I, your well, living. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> Thank you. Custom creators. Thank you. you can be yourself here. I wish I sh- showed up here. in my lingerie, but I <laughs> thought. Learn, we can do another episode. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> <no problem. laughs> No problem. Perfect, as long as you have the wine. I was like, of course, we we have king-size pours here. It's like like I poured it like it was a Stella. I feel right at home. We can bump our next episode. We'll tell the person. Do the next episode on the floor. Thank you. I would feel much better. The next one's audio only. (laughs) No, please. Please, no. Ah, You need the visual. You know, we've got a corner full of treats. And Casey and I were saying, you know, the video is what really keeps us away from, from it. Yeah, because otherwise you'd be just... Snacking. Oh, you'd end up with two Jabba the Hutts oh, during this yeah. podcast. <laughs> on, uh, if, it was, if it was audio only, oh, oh my, my gosh, God. that'd be a license to really let yourself go. That's why we put the cameras. We started audio <laughs> only. For snacking? Oh no, my we gosh, need to do audio to only gets cameras. popular. Wow. And, you know, videos popular. So, you know, we wanted yeah, people, people... like it. And we wanted people oh, to, like, when yeah. we bring in... You know, people we wanted to like have conversations, but also like we haven't seen a lot of people in the mm, last two so years. True. So like, you know, all of our guests at work are coming in. We haven't seen them face to face and talked to them yeah. lately in or if time. ever. Yeah. And, and yeah. a lot of the time it's just bump in small talk too, because right. it's not, you know, you can't book a nice hour and a half, two hours yeah. with the person. And you, know, you so don't true. get to have. It's not as intimate. Also, this feels like just super professional. Like, thank you. <laughs> thank being you. here, I'm like, okay, I'm on a podcast. Yeah, I did not, I did not do a podcast. Yeah. I totally yeah, exactly. did. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice. You know, we wanted to make sure that people left knowing they had really yeah. done a podcast. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. 100%. I'm gonna, I hope I feel that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, yeah and that it's like, you know, fun and relaxed and. <sighs> You know? yeah. Well, the thing is, most of the podcasts that we've been guests on, you sort of go in for five or ten minutes, right. and it's basically like an evolved elevator pitch. Okay. And you don't really get a sense mm. of the person. And, totally. And a lot of, on social media, actually, you do a good job oh. um, communicating You know who you are okay. on social media. But a lot of people don't. And okay. sometimes I'll meet people that I mm. see their, their Instagram, and I'll think, you know – You've got a lot of spark in person mm-hmm. that I didn't get in mm-hmm. the Instagram. Or you've got, mm-hmm. you know, there's a, there's a lot more to you type yeah. thing. Um, so I felt that um, putting together a studio space and, and allowing, mm-hmm. you know, the time to breathe and actually come here and enjoy yeah. the time and have the time would be something really special. And, and, you know, we're really excited about it. Totally. Yeah. Just sit and chat. I mean, that can also go the other way sometimes. Like I've, think oh it's like you think you really know someone online and then you follow <laughs> them you follow them and you meet them in person you're like it's honestly my nightmare <laughs> you're like i like i hope i live up to the, the image that i yeah, portray you, online because oh god <laughs> oh god <laughs> no you i totally really do, do not want to meet someone and they're like you know jules is really not that yeah. amazing no. in real life but i'd rather have her on the you know on the filter online. on the ground yeah, I'm like, on this weird. filter I, on the, the filter face. yeah so I'm, no. I'm always kind of, I mean, the filter started was because I was so nervous to have my face online. I was like really, you know, I was kind of, yeah, I was nervous how often I wanted to show my face on there, but then was like, oh God, it's just like a double-edged sword. So I was like, okay, if I use this filter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then it kind of masks, you know, that whole yeah. thing. But I mean. 
you'll you, know it's me. Yeah, <laughs> you'll, oh, regardless, you'll know it's me. But yeah. you can you can be sort of a version of yourself that's an unfiltered version in mm, costume. Totally. Yeah, you know, it's I sort think, of like a costume. Yeah, I think Instagram, and then maybe this comes from my curatorial background. I think it's over curated a lot of the times. Yeah, uh, I try it. Like I try. I know a lot of content. Here we go. My curatorial background yeah. allowed me to um, <laughs> really dive into. Yeah. Uh, what Instagram stories are about, and I think they're supposed to be immediate. I think yeah. anyone saving up content, it just stop doing that. Stop doing that. Mm. If it's not happening right now, I don't want it. I don't care. Yeah. I don't, whatever. It's not, It's too filtered. It's too, I don't know. I just think people take social media super seriously, and that's what takes the fun out of it yeah, a lot of the times. Absolutely. I mean, I get if you're like, a, I don't know, a very important organization, and whatever, you need to present yourself in a certain yeah. way. But I think as an individual, you really got to just like... Yeah. Not second guess yourself. There. Just get it out there. No one really cares. Nothing matters. It's like stupid. It's an, yeah. it's an app. Like I think a lot of people take it way too seriously and think overthink it when it's yeah. I mean, that's 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 my advice that I give to myself. I'm always just like, wow, I'm really stupid. No, but, yeah, well, you know what? But, <laughs> but then it works. We ran, in this, we ran into this with this podcast, actually. Yeah. Because as you go down, no way. The, well, in the sense that, you, you know, you come up with the idea and you want to start a podcast. Mm. And then the next thing that you dive into is like, well, what value are you bring? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what value are bringing to that audience? What's that? And like, and it's like, oh, okay, the value I'm bringing. And you're like, and then uh, you're like, well, <laughs> what? You know, what do you have? Your three topics you need for each guest, you know, and what's your, the intro going to yeah, be like? like and you don't have to change to realize, the world. Everyone has a podcast, so then like, in that uh, sense, it's liberating. It's like, who cares? Like, well, yeah, that's kind of like, what we did. Is we're like. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah but that's what's going to make it. you successful, you know? Yeah, literally, we're like, Ooh, that's not going to work for us. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> there you go. And that's we're the same with it. social media and me. It's like, I don't know, like certain yeah, apps like TikTok or, you know, uh, I don't even know if I should say this, but I'm like a <laughs> content creator for Pinterest right now, too. And Pinterest oh, is a little bit, you know, they have like rules and standards yeah. on content and it's really hard. I'm I'm so rebellious by nature. It's like you tell me I can't do something, and automatically I'm like I have to do that thing. I cannot stop thinking about that one thing I can't do. Yeah, it's like right. It's insane. So, oh, that was us know. with this podcast. People told us to prepare. People told us all sorts of stuff. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't even fill the Google Doc you we, we, sent me. Yeah, yeah, I was no, like, I, I can't. I can't do this. Rid of that form. I, but okay, I mean, forget it. That's we had the that's form for like it. we emailed like people and then they didn't fill the form we're like ooh, i don't like the form you're like me neither let's yeah. throw it away well i mean maybe that's you know it's also the way you guys like working it's not the way that other people yeah like working. the last just... thing we wanted to do was pile on more work right. on ourselves with the podcast right. the whole goal of the podcast is to take work off, <laughs> off our of people yeah and just, you know and have yeah. a great way to create fun content without having to think about creating fun content yeah it's really it's honestly that simple yeah, and we, it's so, we figured it's, it's like, you know what, we know the people that we're inviting on the podcast, but mm. who has an opportunity to just sit down and tell like more of their story? Like we'll learn things about you and other people who are maybe don't know you or already do know you and follow you on the internet might not know this stuff about you no, or would yeah. be happy to hear your thoughts on Instagram, TikTok and things like that. And that mm. maybe someone out there is a creator and is like doing all of their polished content all the time going, I fucking hate this. And they're like, then they just decide to throw that out. <laughs> I window. mean, if it works for them, <laughs> have fun. If it works, it works. I think everyone has to navigate it in their own way. Personally, yeah, like you yeah. guys were saying, not for me. It's not yeah. for me. I can't. I, it's also not the type of content I like to ingest. So no, it's right. not both really ends, I think either. maybe some people like curated content. They like it. They yeah. like a planned whatever. And their whole feed is full of just planned, perfect yeah, edited stuff, people. you know, like, but I, I don't think social media should be used in that way. It's so it's in our pockets all yeah. day. Show the thing, you yeah. know, do the thing now. Why are we drafting, saving? No, no, no drafts, yeah. no nothing. Just unfiltered now, just like, humanity, yeah. insanity, mm -hmm. just like I crazy. think there's definitely been a bit of a shift because like, um, you know, I was a full time creator like before the pandemic and like doing lots of travel stuff. And then I was like, I don't really feel like doing this anymore. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to be a creator in that way where I'm like use social media and posting stuff is how I make my income because I was finding that it was giving me a lot of anxiety. And I, I didn't like that stage. Like you have to post this on this day and this copy. And I'm, yeah, I, I hate didn't, that. I, I hate didn't it. like it. But I think like through the pandemic times, I didn't like it. I was like, <laughs> no, I can't. I it's not authentic. authentic. You don't have a planta. 
No, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Have, I had no backup. That's what I'm saying. And I, you I know, lived in the woods for a year. Totally, and I did nothing. It's kind of amazing. That's also amazing. <laughs> like your journey is your own. Yeah, you know, like the Muskoka woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Okay, it was a, it was a cottage in Muskoka, but it lived in a forest. <laughs> it was. It's an older cabin. Hellish. Okay. Hellish. Yeah, but, it was. <laughs> But I mean, for a while it didn't work, and I feel Not like. Not to minimize your experience. No. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm obsessed with whoever this person is. Your voice was <laughs> great. So, like, I feel like a lot, there was a lot of like perfect curation, and then through the pandemic, like, people weren't going out and eat that kind mm. of. Made us weird. Going it made us weird. It made no. us weird. We all weird. got weird. No. It def- but I feel like. Like um, when um, Clubhouse was hot for a minute, I had a weekly chat with a bunch of creators and we talked about that kind of. Um, I loved the, Clubhouse. It was fun. But the, 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 how that like perfect curation is like we need to maybe move away from that and be more of our real selves. Because yeah. even when you look at someone's house, you're like, wow, her house is so clean. Turn the camera and there's like oh, a yeah, pile. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And there's a pile. It's of just shit not authentic. There. Like you're just chasing something that is just never going to be. Yeah. And it's, it's just, not. I don't know. I think it just is very empty. But I mean, I know some people who do it who and they're really fucking good at it. love it and they're good at yeah. it and people just Kudos gobble it up. People. That's great. I'm happy for them. It's it's A, not the type of content I'm into and B, not yeah. the kind of content I ever want to create. So I'm, uh, and then again, it also alleviates that like, if I am meeting someone in real life, they're getting what they see. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this, this is, yeah. This what, is what you see is what you get. This is what you get, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No That's surprises. kind of yeah. 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 So, I've been like that too. But even in terms of artwork, <laughs> no, like no, same. <laughs> you're laughing, making fun of me. Not, this is not I'm what not every laughing. podcast I'm is going to be like. Making fun of you. I'm just laughing. That's great, guys. I Get quit. it out no, now. I love it. Yeah, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> On the pod- first podcast, quit. <laughs> No, I already tried to do a podcast once and I recorded one episode. Oh. Well, I tried. And then I had someone on the phone for 45 minutes who was in LA. Oh. And then I realized after it didn't record. So I told them my podcast was on hold and that was two years ago. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, you just pandemic. admitted it now. Thanks to the pandemic, Thanks to the pandemic that out. podcast. You just admitted happened. it now. That's so funny. I do. Um, uh, you should confess that to me next time. I oh, do I full love moon on I love my Instagram. Your I do. I yeah, love your confessions. Moon, yeah. I do like no. Tell me a secret. Tell me something you don't yeah, tell anybody. People else. tell you good secrets. A lot of them are not very good. Yeah. Occasionally, I'll get really good ones. But that's <laughs> a good I one. Say, I, I like said you've got I got a lot I, of good ones. Yeah. Yeah, some, most of them are fears. Like, I'm talking like, you know, like, I'm scared to quit my job, or I'm scared yeah. to tell my mom about mm. this, or I'm scared. It's like, okay, it's a fear. It's not really a secret, I yeah. guess. I mean, I, maybe it's a shameful thing to admit, but, yeah, the human condition, so interesting. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's so many different ways of dealing with all of this, but, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Well, look, there's a lot of opportunity for parents to meddle and screw <laughs> <laughs> kids. That's a new dad. That's a new dad. Look. Absolutely. She's not even one. No, yeah. I know. You're already but contemplating her whole well, you think existence. About, yeah, you think about <clears throat> all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, like you you don't really realize how much work goes into getting us all started. Yeah. I know. It's so crazy. Baby. We're the smartest. We're the smartest be- thing on the planet. And we are literally like the first two years of our life cannot you're like, die. Oh, you're really baby. helpless. It was so helpless. We're <laughs> yeah. so dumb. Like we can't do shit. Mm-hmm. Can't. I, still even now, I'm like, who lets me out? <laughs> I, know. Yeah. Well, I should not be allowed to yeah. do half the shit I'm doing. Yeah. Especially this show. Especially this show. <laughs> As I was leaving my husband, I could see he was like. Yeah, he's like life See you when I see ya. He lit a can- he lit a candle for me and just thought, you You're know, like, how long is this go. episode? Will yeah. I see you yeah. later? Or <laughs> he's like, just make sure you talk slow. I was like, oh, not god. happening. Oh god, no. there's no rules on. There's this wine. Thing. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's it, but it's you guys set it up in a really good way. I work really well if it's just conversation. Yeah, you know, like oh yeah, if it's like a you give me all the questions and I have to prepare and I have to oh. like I know it's coming. Oh. I don't know. It's I, stressful. I, I'm really bad at talking about my work. I'm. I, I think uh, a lot of artists actually are. Yeah. You know, like a lot of us aren't equipped. We just do what we do because we have to. It's like a. I don't know. It's like a tick or something. I can't explain it. Yeah. And so when you tell me I have to like apply meaning to it, it's like oh fuck, I have to talk about it. Yeah, like, like it becomes. You know, and sometimes I don't like talking about it. Sometimes I like to hear what other people think of my work in terms of you know, it's the way that you interpret it. If art is subjective, which I believe it is. Yeah. 
the way you perceive it is going to be totally different than how I intended. And yeah. I love that. I want to celebrate Absolutely. that. And I think it's so important. And so. Well, what yeah. do you think it means to you? <laughs> <laughs> let's go around the room. Yeah, let's go around the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've deduced most of it to plush booths and uh, <laughs> crown molding. Crown, yeah, lots of bright know, colors. I love that. Yeah, I he's love a very the specific colors. color palette. That actually came from a teacher uh, when I was at OCAD. She was like, set a bunch of rules for yourself if you're trying to make a style, which yeah. I was trying oh, to do. Yeah. I was trying to find my style, I guess. Mm. And she was yeah. like, just make a bunch of rules, and then you can learn which ones you want to break later and which ones you don't. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have a specific color palette. I'm not going to use black. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then yeah. it just kind of evolved into this thing now. But... Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you. Wow. It's um it's smart to consciously think about that type of stuff. Yeah. Because it seems like the most famous artists do a lot of conscious thinking about certain elements of their style. Well, Both yeah, you're working with visuals. Art. Yeah. Mm. And themselves. When, and I mean, and, like, that can be applied to any medium, actually. This is oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. And then also, but I'm now getting to a point where, okay, I've established this style. I think... There's, there's always going to be a, a Jules element to everything I do, of course. Yeah. Mm. But, like, I'm, I'm bored now. So yeah. what's next? You know, and I, I find that some artists or right. creators, I guess, who become commercially successful, this is the only work you'll see them doing for the next 20 years. Yeah. And I really don't want to get stuck doing that. I'm, like, bored. So I think expanding and evolving and growing with yeah. it is, like, super important. And I get mad. I kind of get mad at artists who are, like, doing the same thing. Like, yeah. For years and years and years and years, and they don't really switch it up or take. I'd rather see an artist that I adored yeah. do something I hate later in life, but it's different. Yeah, you know, like like I that, commend the that risk. Certain period where they're like this totally is the whatever. There's period. some Picasso pieces. I'm like, that was the same artist. Like, yeah, it's crazy. But I mean, uh, there's plenty of famous and amazing, cr incredible yeah. artists that just kind of we're constantly expanding their style and changing. And so I think, yeah, it's been like I don't know five years of this, yeah. and now I'm ready to like open it yeah, up a little like, bit like okay let's try next something for you. new I what's next i saw are you doing a mural i am doing a mural. oh wow wow <laughs> yeah uh, uh, how big is the is mural is it public, public. is it it's outside public. I, we got our first uh Amazing. grant from wow. the government i got government oh, money now amazing. honey yeah wow. uh, i didn't do it alone i did it with stacked marketplace oh, I, don't, I don't know if i should be talking about it but i didn't sign an nda so it's yeah. fine oh. uh <laughs> So we can cut that out or no, not. No, I didn't Actually, sign. now that I mentioned that, the podcast has to air, you know, in September. Oh, okay. So then, <laughs> perfect. It'll be done by then. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So I'm doing my, I've never, I don't work with murals. I don't, yeah. I don't know how my work's going to translate. It'll uh, be great. It's It'll be a, great. Yeah, I'm so excited. I can't but again, wait to take I'm a like, photo in front of it. Oh, perfect. Already. That's what I need. I need that kind of, I need that well, kind of clout. Well, I, in Yorkville Village. I've taken pictures in front of your painting there. Oh, oh yeah, the ghost. There. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that? really fun. I learned a lot right on that in, project. In the lobby of Yorkville Village mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a painting of Jules. A huge. Yeah, that oh, thing my God. Is I, huge. Haven't, I, I only come my here. My height. I can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I only come to Hover and then I go home. Maybe once in a while I stop at Hemingway's. I don't know. Oh, great. Well, it's, yeah, it's kind of in between <laughs> Hemingway's and oh. here. It's, yeah, it's actually it perfect. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> you really have no excuse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's actually bought snacks for here so she has <laughs> yeah out and okay about. okay wow. <laughs> amazing but um, yeah yeah, yeah that was out. fun that was a cool project yeah this is bigger i don't know how it's gonna go but i that excites me i think yeah. uh for some artists that can be really scary and it also is scary but i'm i'm like i'm trying to embrace change as yeah. much as i can and i know it's super scary but i'm trying to be i'm trying to grow i want to i want to be doing this forever yeah. ever so in order to be doing it forever, you have to go with, you can't, have to, can't be doing the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't, yeah. Now, the whole Renfrew, all <clears throat> those oh, pieces God. that I saw, yeah. um, that was probably like three years ago now. Yeah, and that was right before the pandemic, yeah. Right, yeah. and that event looked fantastic. Yeah, that was really fun. Because there was the photo booth yeah. that was completely covered yeah. in your artwork. Yeah, that was crazy. And there was a lot of other <laughs> pieces. So that was, yeah. they, they came to you and they're mm -hmm. like, Jules, we need like to be pretty cool. They, and yeah. <laughs> I, there was a certain amount of parameters like with cool. that. What but it, like, so I had to work on top of this like wallpaper toile that they had, which was like oh, crazy okay. hard to work with, but I figured it out. Yeah. This was like, Have okay. Have you seen all that stuff? I think so. I yeah. think I, I've seen the it The photo booth was my favorite part of it. That was really cool. Um, 
But it was a lot of work. It was me being just completely inexperienced, being like, this is the most amount of money I've ever been paid to do anything. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And then right. yeah. realizing halfway through, like, holy shit, <laughs> this is a lot of work. Oh, that my God. Happened. What did I do? It what was like did a, I say? A I was A lot of crying, this. a lot of carpal yeah, tunnel that we, like, it was nuts. Oh God, but that's just, that you know, and thing. then this is like, also something with artists that I feel is so shitty and it sucks is like quoting. I fucking hate yeah. it. I oh, can't stand yeah. it. Quoting. And this is before, like I was kind of just like, I'm going to name a number that's the highest number I can think of. And I just said it and they were like, yeah, whatever. You were like, shit, like, I should have asked for more. I should have asked for more. And then when I was on the job, I was like, oh my God, I should have asked for way more. But you know, yeah. this is like, this is the way of it. And then I think with art, it's so hard because it's so personal. Oh, oh, yeah. And so I'm like, the fact that they even asked me is like enough. Yeah. And like, you know, and I'm losing, like, no, I'm losing not. that a little yeah. bit more, which is awesome. Like, yeah, well, it takes doing jobs <laughs> like that. Totally. And now I'm like, oh my God, I just gave them this job for literally nothing. And now I'm doing, you know, I'm asking for (laughs) double that. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm doing now. Whatever that is, double that. Yeah. I know. I don't (laughs) want to. I don't know. But I mean, if there's any artists out there who are listening to this, don't feel stupid when you're like, that was the most money I've ever made. And you feel happy and you're happy with it. Because at the time I was, I was super satisfied with it. But now looking back, I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Why did I, it was yeah. really dumb. It was just really inexperienced, and they don't teach you that in school. No. Like it's not like no. you can learn that. It's like a and the company was probably like, <laughs> oh yeah, Holt, uh, yeah, Holtz yeah, exactly. was probably like, <laughs> like oh yeah, yeah like, this is sucker. Even- we got another one. <laughs> there goes one person. <laughs> Yeah, literally. Even, I know. I it's know, so true. Are, we should hire OCAD people all the we time. We should hire. Yeah. <laughs> get her we back. Get her back. Yeah, get her back. Get her back in here. Well, yeah. yeah no. And, then, and one like, of my secrets late, uh, recently was someone who was like, "I want to li- make a living off my photography, but I'm. I feel like I'm not creative enough." And I felt like, okay, if you think you're not creative enough, then, then you're, you're not. not. Oh, then yeah. You're not. And it's so. I think I, I'm like the proper amount of delusional in a sense where I'm like. I have the opposite problem. I'm like, I'm so creative. Everything I think yeah, of is amazing. Be. And I have to just go with it. I have to yeah. run with it. And it's yeah. like, it's a type of There's, delusion you need. Oh, and yeah. if you're like yeah. constantly worried about. There's no other way to operate. And be totally. And I, it's, I didn't want to sound like an asshole to be like, well, if you think that, then you know no. it. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's cause it's, but it's true. Like I, it is. diving in is half of it. Oh totally. yeah. You're and like, constantly walking the line between know it all and listening to people. Totally. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to no, it's delusion. You have to be a little yeah, bit little, delusional. Yeah. For like, sure. I'm Especially this, to be for is. good art. Yeah, I think and the more artists I'm meeting, I'm like, that is the craziest fucking person I've ever met. And oh, then yeah. it keeps happening. Them. Me too. And I'm like, I've loved these are my people, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So you have yeah, to yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. yeah, surround yourself with this I don't know. This yeah, it's true. Delusionness, I yeah, guess. and like yeah. those people that are like not following the grain of everyone else, you know? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Or, uh, and then I had another woman who said to me, I'll never forget it. It was like a year ago. And she DM'd me and she was like, how do you think of stuff to paint? You know, I have the opposite problem. I I'm, I always don't know what to paint. And I thought, oh. fuck, I should hire you. You know, like I have notes and notes and notes. Paint and, all these things. I'm like, I have so much shit that I just need to give to someone. Like, let, take this. Like, I, I don't have enough time. Like, yeah. uh, the ideas that I have are, there's just too many of them. That There's yeah. not going to be enough time in this lifetime for just one person and one thing. You know, that's why Michelangelo and all these oh, yeah. like, famous artists had like a team, you know? You, oh, can't, yeah. you can't possibly do it we, all. Uh, you know, any time that we go and contract an artist to do like little things, yeah. I it's always a red flag yeah. when you give them an idea and they're like, mm. don't come back with a bunch of ideas. Yeah. It's... Like a, a, a mark of a good artist is someone, uh, well, not, not 100%, but, but most of the time I find you're more successful with someone whose head is bursting. With yeah, it's ideas. almost exhausting. Yeah, yeah it's, it's almost like... exhausting. Then the opposite. Same with musicians in a lot yeah. of respects oh uh, anyone who works in the creative field i think that's i mean i yeah. guess that's why i'm talking about it we're talking about creators yeah <laughs> anyone who works in this field who's a little bit worried or insecure about their creativeness yeah. i'm always like oh you're fucking doomed like yeah. you're doomed. Yeah. <laughs> like sell me a lot like and like there's, i'm not talking problem. about i'm not talking about imposter syndrome because i have that too where no, i wake no, up no, and i'm like not... what the fuck is my life yeah, like yeah. what am yeah. i doing yeah. like i wake i'm literally like doing this right now and then yeah. i'm like okay yeah i just made a painting out of dicks and it sold and i'm doing that <laughs> to a freaking firefighter and like they showed up with the truck like that's my life like this Did they oh, show wow. up with the yes! truck ah! she was a firefighter lived down the street from me she was like yo i live down the, like i the uh, fire hall was like right down the street she's like we're coming in the truck we're going to come we're going to come pick it up <laughs> Wow. Did they so, put it in the amazing. fire hall? I don't know. No, she took it home. Thank God. It belongs with her. But like, wow, it's just wow. so crazy. Like the minute, I don't know. The yeah. minute you 
are like worried about jumping into something because you're not worried if or you're worried you're creative enough. Yeah. Then it's probably true. You're probably not. Creative yeah, you're enough. probably not. And which I hate to say because I think that anyone, if you set your mind to it, you can do anything you want. But it doesn't sound like that's the wrong step to take. You know, like yeah, if you're like I'm, I'm worried about being creative then yes you're gonna always worry about being creative then you know and and photography especially that's a hard one like I don't yeah, know. but you've got to just go out and take pictures of everything like take yeah pictures and of just things. Like, and, and it's like a muscle you know it, like, like there's also a lot of creators i know who are like i can only really i can only really create when the opportunity presents itself mm-hmm. to me and i'm like no that's kind of bullshit because yeah they put themselves in a box to uh, to alleviate the, yeah. the pressure of actually it's doing like being, it also being a but writer, also there's got to write totally and there stuff. are some days i sit in the studio and i don't get fuck shit all done i get nothing done yeah, exactly. and i sit there and i wallow in my shitness and I'm like I'm a whore I'm shit this sucks I hate everything I'm doing but you have to do those days you know totally you have to do them and you have to sit there and take it that's part of the process that's a part of the process and I think you know the days that you're not doing that it's like then you're not it's it's a muscle you're exercising a muscle and so you know like any any person who plays an instrument anyone who speaks a language that's not you know this language or anything like anything you have to practice it Absolutely. And it has to be like for me, it has to be daily. Absolutely. And so if I'm not in the studio, yeah, the painting I make today is probably going to be shit, but at least I'm doing it and I'm showing yeah. up and there could be, you know, years that go by that I look at that painting and I go, uh, that, okay, this would be cool if it was flipped this way or if it was done in this perspective or, you know, then I'm, then I'm grateful for those shit totally. days or the imposter days or whatever. But yeah, there's... Well, if you're in, if you're in the studio and you happen to be inspired to draw a podcast, okay, um, <laughs> or you some may, type you of know, hover UFO. Well, okay. that's also the other thing. I'm also realizing <laughs> I've been UFO. presented with lots of money to do shit for people, and I don't want to do it. Then it's not going to get done. No, if I don't want to do it. It's oh, just no. not going to happen. And I think that's also something that I'm learning now. Of like, yeah, I can make money off my art I should be so grateful and I am I'm, yeah. I am I'm yeah. so happy and you know sometimes I'll just like spit out a number because I don't want to do it right. and then someone's like yeah I'll send you half and I'm like oh fuck now I have to do it and then it You're just like, yeah and then I hate it so yeah. it's like okay so you really do. have to find that balance of like something that you also like doing but then also that's gonna make you money it's like mm-hmm. it's really difficult because oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like painting pets right now and I'm like fucking hell and then maybe right. maybe two out of the ten that <laughs> I do are amazing I'm like this is I'm so happy I met this cat like I'm yeah. so happy that I painted this cat as much as I love tapping the uber comfort yeah. <laughs> okay. as much as I love tapping comfort <laughs> I'll tap X, okay, and just do my thing. <laughs> That's a great analogy. Totally. Yes. It's like, I, I think it's hard. It's hard for creators, though, you yeah. know? I think everyone looks at me and is like, Julie, you're doing what you love, and you're making money off of it. It's like, of course, yes, of course. But the amount of times I feel satisfied by the work that I'm making or the amount of times that a, a commercial job will line up with the shit that I actually want to do is yeah. so rare. Oh, yeah. And it's so magical when it does happen, but it's not all the time. And so I think I'm just kind of struggling with, like, I wish it was all the time that I was just doing what I wanted. And, yeah, yeah it's well, going to take time. Yeah. Yeah, it won't take as long as you think. Okay, I don't I think it's going to so. take as long Honestly, as you think. Honestly, I hope that's a job. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hope I'm, like... After this podcast, <laughs> you're going to have to have one of those dogs going to the print shop for oh, wow. you. It's gonna, yeah, it takes one of my dogs. Yeah. My, yeah. Uh, okay, well, yeah. put that out into the universe. Yeah, Thank that you. print shop's going to be blowing up. So talk to us a little about a little bit about the Crybaby Gallery. Oh, yeah. So how did that... For uh, solo show. Yeah. Oh, they're so amazing. It's so hard to find emerging spaces in the city. And Crybaby is like, I don't even, it's so funny. All my best friends and everyone I've ever met who I loved, I I don't remember actually formally meeting them. It's like weird. Mm -hmm. I like block it out or something. (laughs) And Crybaby, like when I met Moni, he's incredible, by the way. He, I don't even remember meeting him. I just remember like, oh yeah, Moni's like my best friend. Like, of course. And so uh, I think I, I kind of like bullied him into a show. I was like, I want a show here. And he was like, yeah, like let's book a month. And then we booked a month and I was going to Mexico City to do an artist residency. And it was happening like shortly after that. Then I got pushed back like a couple times and then, yeah, the entire experience was insanity. I mean, putting up together a body of work is so hard. If you tell me to do one painting, I can do that no problem. But mm-hmm. when you tell me I have to like 
curate a room, I'm like, oh, oh yeah. shit. So how many paintings were in that room? I think uh, 12? like nine, 12. Yeah. 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 But then I also really wanted to show that I'm like not just paintings. So like I had a rug and yeah, a light. I love, I love the, rug. the rug. Yeah. I know. I just gave the rug away today, which is so oh. crazy. I just let it go today. Oh. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I wanted people to feel like they were taking maybe, um, a tour of my brain, I guess, into a room. Yeah. And well, I love the, um, uh, what was it? Like a sheet? Yeah. The tapestry, a, the tapestry on the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm really proud. I don't know if the work all made sense together, but it definitely was like a, like a, Worth it learning wise. I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. Like anyone who's done a solo show probably knows, like, holy shit, the amount of work is insanity. Um, it's like of course, a fashion collection. To, like anything, yes. Yeah. Like uh, an album. Yeah, yeah, it's like an album. When you're making an album, it's like, okay, they all have to kind of speak to each other. But then I, it was my first solo show. So I was like, I don't really care if they do. Like, I just want people to feel like they know me yeah. when they walk in the room. And So Crybaby Gallery is mm-hmm. basically occupying their entire gallery with you yes for how long for a month oh it's about three weeks yeah okay for three weeks and then so they're, they're like taking a, a bet on you totally sen- and and then totally. they're a speakeasy as well yeah so they're like a bar, bar in the back which was like bad news for me because <laughs> yeah. it was like every, every time i was there, there every day and i was like okay margarita let's go yeah, yeah. they so. have great margaritas they I've do been. they have a little patio in the summertime it's, it's like pretty brilliant yeah, it's a great so, spot are you going to, is your goal to do another totally. show? I think someone said to me, I don't know who made the rule, but like as an artist, you should be doing like one show a year, like yeah. of some sort. Yeah. And so uh, they just, invited me back, which was so beautiful. I would love to, oh my to God. do another show? Yeah. Like next oh, year. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Which I would, I hope, hopefully Moni remembers that, but uh, yeah. yeah, which I would totally do. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm into exploring like new spaces, obviously within the city that are maybe, I, I don't know, I find gallery spaces to be extremely stuffy and like yeah. awkward and weird especially when you're trying to uh experience my work or the type yeah. of work i'm trying to do so it can yeah. get a little bit confusing but i mean i would be so down to do more stuff like that I, again it's just harder in toronto it's hard yeah. here you know yeah. like it's there's less and less room for us and so it feels like okay how do i you know how do i do like a back alley gallery where yeah. it's just like here's some work like let's look at it or yeah, like yeah. uh performance art i love yeah. performance you know how can i do more events mm-hmm. yeah. um we did one at cry baby for the closing show and it was beautiful like live painting i love doing yes yes that um, looked great yeah i've done a couple at stacked which were just like yeah make more space you know that's yeah. it's just beautiful when those things can meet and um, the artist like gains so much from experiences like that. So it really does help. Like, yeah. It's really nice. I, <laughs> I wish cities knew more about this, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, um, okay. So they, and you're selling the paintings. Mm-hmm. So each painting is the price listed at the gallery. Yeah. So Crybaby, I don't know if I should it. say, but no, I'll tell, uh, Crybaby does, uh, 70, 30, which is actually quite low. That's low because they're working with emerging artists. So yeah. they understand that, uh, role in terms of like, yeah, we'll take 30% and like, yeah. you know, you're a new artist. So, but when know. I, if I were, I didn't, I, because an Ariel was born, I wasn't able to uh, go. Oh my um, God, of course. But, um, when it, were people who visited, mm-hmm. is there a price on each painting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's the price, the price is there. Yes. Okay, we had the prices up. Yeah, um, and then it's not a price price upon request. Well, no, I know some galleries who operate <laughs> yeah. that way, yeah. which I would be down for both. I mean, yeah. I guess it was also nice to introduce myself, especially to. I always struggle with price, especially with my work, because I'm stealing from millennials. I'm stealing from my own generation, right? Yeah. And I'll, as much as I would love to spend $3,000 on a painting, I can't, Yeah, <laughs> you know? And so a lot of my work that had sold were to women who were my age. And wow. it was liberating because it's like, holy shit, like I can't buy the $2,500 painting right. and you're doing it. This and yeah. like, I had a woman yeah. once, yeah, I had a woman once, you know, but my, but my stuff isn't for white m- m- old, old men, men you yeah. know, it's not for the people who have money. It's yeah. for like my generation. So, you know, I, I get people who are like, Jules, you know, you should really price your shit higher. And I'm like, I know it just, it's not for yeah. them. So it's yeah. kind of hard where I, I try to fall into this category of like i want to be accessible i want people to you know my generation deserves good art not saying that my art is good but it, is good. it, deser- it deserves it <laughs> deserves yeah. it deserves art that represents right. them that but is you know for what, them though? 
Knowing that somebody bought the real painting yeah, of this she's limited edition New York. print. Yeah, she's though, amazing. Who bought that um, one? Right. But the mm-hmm. higher the price the real painting goes, the better the average person feels about their limited edition print to yeah. some respect. So, so you also can that's look at true. it that way. No, I because like I I'm understand a, that my thinking is completely buyer. Yeah. But I mean I'd buy original paintings no, of yours, but uh, But I think that the prints you. <laughs> <laughs> slim, you know. Well, no, the prints are, ca- uh, and then someone, uh, Tassin, who is like one of my favorite artists in the city as well, she's actually has an exhibit now at uh, Crybaby Gallery. Oh, she uh, always says, you always have to have candy. So you always have to have something that's like, you're not really making a huge profit of, but someone can own a little bit of you. And yeah. so my, my eight by tens are the candy. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. the $35 yeah. print. Yeah. So I have 17 year olds who like message me on TikTok and they're like, I bought a print. And I'm like, okay, that actually is a huge yeah. deal to me because, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> maybe like, like, I, I met you in real life and I was like, I'm buying a print right now. You know, I'll tell you from the, but from I love the- it. You have to have candy so you can't be oh, completely yeah. priced out you can't be no, like my shit no. is four thousand dollars and that's it it's like yeah. no you have to have a huge range of like okay well i have the 35 five dollar print but i also have the three thousand dollar painting if you want and i also yeah. have the commission piece you can commission me to do you know for this much totally. and i also have the pet portrait you can buy for like yeah. 80 bucks or you yeah. know like i'm trying to be as accessible because oh yeah i want to you know well, i'm tra- also yeah. trying to make a living yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and but yeah. for me the print buyer i still feel you know sense you in the print oh well you the know, prints like, are good quality yeah like it's not yeah. like i feel like i'm so much it's not more like you removed yeah. from the paint and you know what and yeah, even everyone who's not like you bought it at the poster <laughs> no you Lino, didn't no you didn't or whatever. thank you for saying that actually because yeah. i also it's feel true. like well and i know this to be true now that anyone who bought a print they always come back for more yeah mm-hmm. so i always like artists who are like i don't really want to sell prints i'm like i know it is it's a part-time job it is a lot like yeah. and then finding a printer you like and the paper and the lawn it's expensive and whatever shipping is an asshole yeah. whatever it does it's worth it it's so worth yeah. it you know because right away i was like oh as soon as you gave it to me i, I like, gotta buy one. another one now so, no but that's yeah. the thing like yeah. it's always repeat customers yeah. it's always I want like one of those and i want there you go one. they all fit your um that's a one of one. your painting <laughs> <laughs> no but your painting and your style i feel like really mm. resonates with me it's like my but yeah, a lot yeah. of people tell me yeah. that and because it's i'm pulling totally. i'm pulling from you yeah. you know like i'm pulling from mostly women you know my art is female based and i try to be very vocal about that Mm. i don't think that there's enough art that represents us i think there should be more um but then also you know it's not just feminine it's also just human and yeah uh, i don't know sexy Uh, and fun and fun and and, like the subject matter that's that's the part of jewels i think that will always remain true like Mm -hmm. it'll always be those things maybe it'll look different in different ways like as i grow older and as experiences happen or you know if i have a kid or whatever i don't know god (laughs) the older i'm getting the more i'm like that's not gonna happen But I don't know. Well, um, we did it as late as you could do it, so you're yeah. Not, and you know, you know what? I think good. Italia a lot because I feel like fuck yeah. You know, oh, like yeah. I think that women are not afforded that chance to even think about it. You know, guys can just keep making babies until they're what, what 70, yeah. 80, 90, it, whatever how old they have to be. And women are constantly told like time is ticking, time yeah, is ticking, yeah. time is ticking. It, it, and it's it's too bad, but it yeah. is totally no, and yeah. it's fine. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna wait till the last possible moment, and if it can't happen, then then there's yeah. other ways to nurture. You like have I lots of I have art babies. Yeah. I can okay. adopt. I can. Yeah. I mean, we're getting completely off topic, but yeah. it's no, liberating man. to well, think in that the way. Topic? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's true. We'll figure out yeah. the topic what's later, the and we'll give this episode a title. Yeah. I wrote we down a couple of things. Into I, wrote down, I wrote down a couple of things that you said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this podcast and, is do <laughs> yeah <laughs> something we get um, deep in. I don't know. And um, having sex yeah. with Jules or Candy. Yeah. yeah, well, that's also <laughs> well, a great title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what is like next for you? You're doing a mural. I w- okay, so you would like to do another I'm art doing show. A mural. How I'm... big's the mural? The okay, size of that? It's that yeah, it's drape? bigger than that. It's oh, I, it's actually wow. three spots. So it's it's happening in a pollinator garden, which is mm, totally. I know where that is. Yeah. What's that? It's happening. Good- they're like building it in stack oh, marketplace, okay, it's so not... it's it's meant for like hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies. Oh. Like, Is it so like on okay. the side? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Pollinator. So, yeah, pollinator yeah. garden. So they're trying to attract bees and butterflies and hummingbirds, yeah. and so they're gonna have a bunch of feeders and like plants that yeah, encourage that plant, type of. Like, oh, you're gonna get wow. stung probably yeah, in the garden. Yeah. They all Don't go there if you're allergic. <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, I mean, know. maybe the bees won't bother you because they're busy doing their own thing. I don't know how it works. Which is perfect. I'm I've been doing these like drippy floral series in the last like six 
six yeah. months. Yeah, just to actually, that only started because I was trying to learn the medium. Like, I, I don't work with acrylic often on canvas. Like, I usually work with paper and watercolor and ink and whatever. And is so, this watercolor? Yeah, that's a uh, gouache. Uh, but I treat it like watercolor. Oh, so wow. it's like watercolor, yeah. Well, uh, that's gouache. Yeah, gouache is <laughs> like a type of acrylic. Yeah. But I don't work, like, on canvas, like, ever. Like, okay. I don't build in that way. It's completely opposite to th- what I'm doing now. Because um, you start that with a pencil? Yeah. <clears throat> and it's, okay. like, with... How do I say? You can't really layer what I'm doing. Okay. Once the color goes down, it's so immediate. It's so final. It's okay. like permanent. Like I can't go back. Like with acrylic, right. you can layer. Like yeah. I didn't like that color. I can just go over it with something yeah. else. You know, with right. this, what I'm doing here, you cannot. It's almost, it's impossible actually, which is why I love it. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I want to try something new. I'm trying oh, to grow. Oh, 100%. So I was doing, okay, I'll, I'll paint what I know if I'm learning a new medium, and that's flowers. I've always known how to paint flowers. So I was like, yeah. perfect. I'm just going to do this series. And then everyone's like, oh, fucking going crazy over these things and like yeah. I'm getting I can feel myself getting bored of them already but uh when stacked proposed it they were like we're trying to do this garden the derby floors will be perfect and I was like you know what That's, okay. that is fucking perfect for that so we're gonna do like a I think the first wall is six by eleven the second the second wall is just like two four by threes and the last wall is nine by eleven again like it's wow. huge so just oh, huge big. spaces yeah I think the last one we're just gonna do like a sky and I'll just do butterflies because I'm like oh, I'm gonna be exhausted <laughs> But yeah, I want to do something to make it as an ode to the drippy yeah. flower series that I've been doing and then hopefully that end that chapter and start something new, but so who gets to keep the canvas after? There it's a permanent fixture. Like it's going to oh, be on permanent. wood and it's going to be Oh, cuz I think the, the stack is like a tear down. No, totally like, no. Okay, so no, no, it's it's yeah. permanently It's going to be against the fence like the way they've yeah, built it. It's like a permanent side. structure along the side. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy I've you know exactly. Photo, I've taken photos there cuz they had other a they did mural yes. there before. They had another mural. I like to take find bright colored walls in the city and take photos with them. So I'm there very you go. familiar with you the would space. know the spot. Do, do, do they commit to you uh, an amount of time that it will stay up? Like if they so guarantee stacked, you a certain amount of time. There? Yeah, I okay, I don't know if I'm also allowed to say this. Maybe we can edit it out. Forever. Know. They told me forever. <laughs> they told me forever. Yeah. I don't know. But okay. uh, Stacked is, um, it's actually not, uh, it, they rent, Stacked rents that area okay. in the city. So okay. they could so get shut like, down like tomorrow and yeah, they tear they it down. Rent. But I mean. Maybe get the mural. I imagine yeah. it's forever. Yeah. Maybe I could I have <laughs> auction that baby on. Yeah. Oh, no way. Who? Do I, maybe I know her. Yeah, we'll talk about it after. After. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's, yeah. But you guys created an environment where yeah. I felt like we were just talking. Yes. So this is yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um, uh, but, and then, yeah. so after yeah. Yeah, I, sorry. after uh, the mural, which is so funny, I finish uh, June 15th and then I leave the country for two months. Oh, um, where are you going? Right. June. Paris. Yeah, I'm going to Paris Amazing. for my birthday. I love Paris. I'm doing Europe for two months just because, yeah, I feel like since the solo show, I haven't had time to download anything. I've just been like fucking work, 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 work. And as any creator, you really do have to take a step away from everything you're doing. And like, I mean, physically remove yourself from Mm -hmm. the studio space, the place you know to be safe, all of that shit, because it just can get too much. And I desperately need it. So I'm like, okay, I'm leaving. I'm going away for two months. (laughs) Just to... With your husband? No, by myself. Oh. Uh, (laughs) I've been with my... A lot of people... And I said, by yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, baby. Yeah. Wow. I love traveling by myself. I've become addicted to it. I actually did it for the residency, and then I was like, holy fuck. Well, I've been with my husband since I was 19, so we've been together for 15 years. Five years. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Thank you. No. No, we've been together for 14 years, uh, married for three, and it just feels like... I don't know. We're so telepathic now. When you've been with someone for that long, yeah. I'm like, oh, I can, yeah. pro- I can tell you what he's doing. Like I can, yeah. and he, he can do the same. Like, okay, he's, I know. He's just editing doing. my next yeah. video. <laughs> he's working for me, I know what he's me, doing. Baby. He's editing. She's drinking wine. Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> meeting someone else. Too, but I think it's so important, you know, like you lose yourself in a relationship sometimes that you forget you're an individual and yeah. that's mm-hmm. so unhealthy. I mean, in my eyes, I know some people who are codependent and they fucking like it and that's what they want to do. Yeah. I get a lot of flack for it though. Like people who are like, oh, you're traveling, like without March? Like, where's March? What's going on with March? And it's like, I don't know. March is his own fucking person, and so am yeah. I. Like, I'm my own person. I never want my marriage to, like, take over 
who I am as an individual yeah. Yeah, and what totally. I'm doing. I and so tra- two, what's two months if I plan on being with this guy until I die? Like, it's uh, really get nothing. Get out of here. You know, like, later, see you fucking later. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I actually don't have a return flight and I know it's pissing him off. He's like, okay, well, are you coming over? Yeah. What's going on? No. No, you'll come home. Yeah. yeah. Or not. And then that's, I'll deal with that. If I yeah. deal with Cross that. that bridge when you get yeah, to it. Yeah, you'll have to come to me. <laughs> I bought a house in Mallorca. You have to come here now. <laughs> <laughs> we are bi coastal. I mean, we have different <laughs> Canada ends. Yeah, I don't know. So, we'll love what it. happens. That's great. That's really yeah. exciting. So, do you k- take a lot of paints with you? <laughs> like, so, I'm you planning on, I don't know, I'm, I'm really struggling. Luggage. You're mm-hmm. going to need your luggage scale. No, I'm bringing, I know. Oh, do you have one? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. You want oh, I would actually love to borrow it. I'll come, yeah, I'll come <laughs> back. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do a carry on for two <laughs> months. Oh, oh you know, I got it. After this, we'll talk about a lot of tips. I'm an expert love. traveler for oh. carry on only. Okay, I would love. Yeah. And yeah. I figure it's summer, so I'm going to be hot as balls you're the fine. entire time. I'm just going to bring like silks. That's everything it. that's folds yeah. up small and everything flowy is super and flowy and, and silk and black and white and that's it and then Lair, uh, and you can always pick up things on the way and get yeah. an extra suitcase for when you come home oh so true i didn't even think of that honey i got you okay well because i'm like i'm taking like 10 flights while i'm there you know europe you know you just bounce yeah. around like oh 60 right. you don't want to take here. a lot of shit no i don't want to and so you i'm like i'm gonna pack like a small something small that i can packing be, cubes like an out yeah. Okay. I gotta talk to you. Yeah. We'll, we'll sidebar that. But yeah, that's so true. I want to art make while I'm there, and I'm like, okay, right. that's gonna look much different than what I'm used to. But I'm also excited for that because, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Different. Yeah. I love it. Well, I can't wait to follow that journey. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah. yeah it's really it's exciting. Be storing. Oh yeah. 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 No drafts. No drafts. No drafts. <laughs> Never Just drafts. Just let it all up there. Lessons from Woo! Jules Mercanti. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to it. Wow, and thanks. thank you so much thank you for, for joining us. Me. Wow, yes. you guys are amazing. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you. We, we so knew quickly. this would be so much laughs and fun, and we love you. Wow, we'll thank you. make sure to let everyone know where to find you and okay, follow you. Sweet. And um, yeah, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. Thanks for the rose. <laughs> what a wonderful afternoon. You're Come back anytime. anytime. <laughs> Yeah, come back anytime. So, She's same like, time next Jules. week? Yeah. <laughs> the Jules through a canteen yeah, hour? <laughs> I got so many stories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the Jules. But when, you're, yeah. when you come back from your trip. Oh, yeah, come we'll back. do a follow up. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll have well, more. Well, guys, don't that's worry. a good reason to come back. Absolutely. I guess. Okay, like you silk. can tell your husband now. You you, you're coming back eventually. You're coming back for the podcast, babe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You're Thank you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you for tuning into this episode. You can find Jules online at juliamercanti.com. Check out more episodes of Cast of Creators on YouTube, your favorite podcast platform, or castofcreators.com.